Hey friends, we're back. Playing more Witcher. Let's go and stop the peasants from lynching the prince. Because that would be a bad thing. I would might. Also. Let's trade, friend. What do I have? What do I have for equipment here? Let me check. Let me check. 30 to 34. 19. 1. <clears throat> I might have to get some better boots and gloves. These I've had since the start of the game. These I just got. Trophy I've had for a while now. Do I have any more trophies? Uh, trophies, trophies, trophies. No, I don't. Cool. Let's go uh, save the prince. God save the queen! Screw the queen! Queen's useless. She's a waste of torn and money. She just fell unconscious. Ah, uh, where? The commoners claim it's oh, a large one. Oh, there's a large Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? What's stopping them? The knights. A dirty and noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvis! Jorvis! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. Yeah. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! Man, I like need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Things look Say, bad. Witcher, the come over here. are furious. They finally have a chance to strike back for all the wrongs. The noblemen won't yield. They're a cowardly lot. They know their heads will follow Stennis's. It's a deadlock, with the prince's guilt still to be proven. Yarpin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spies. Hmm. Anyone reached the prince in his chamber? Not even close. The nobles guard him like a matron does her ward's hiney. If the rabble slaughters the prince, there'll be no stopping them. They'll start doing things their own nasty way. That's why the nobles will support the prince, even if they believe he's guilty. I'm sure Stennis's hands are dirtier than a peasant girl's fucked in a barn. Hmm. Why would Henselt do it? Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Her death would be very convenient. Zoltan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. 
Someone she knew must have done it. Hmm. What a Durnian could do Has it. Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling. Plowing soothsayer. He might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone can pass through the Wraith's Mist. It has to be someone local. <laughs> so it never crossed your mind that Henselt might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared? Hmm. I can Save tell you what he lost with her life. Power. Woman. As I see What it, do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Hmm. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. The new world order. If the order. prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plow fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plow your fields. Farewell. Gross. Guilt must be proven. Power. Otherwise, Rolling it's vigilante gun, justice. You surly dog. You change your tone. What about this guy? Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets. Throwing their weight about too much they are. Hmm, I wonder if you they know You know Saskia's him. servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like your sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. Hmm. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. Hmm. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage, but he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them! Farewell. He's got real Give us donkeys. this whole power! Rolling dung, you surly dog! Change your what about the dwarves? Work. Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in Mayor Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's breeches. Hmm. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Hmm. This guy's really passionate about his goblets. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. 
Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Course not. Hmm. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! <laughs> I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. Thorax. Hmm. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. Save your the prince has a coming, me thinks. So good. If not for that damn Thorax sounds like a... I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on! Eva. You were so Give us a kiss. Hmm. Thorak. Thorak is sounding like the prime suspect here. But first, what does he sell? <laughs> Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again... Hmm. So it couldn't be Thorak. Thorak look like a good guy. What about this peasant bastard? Bastard peasant? Oh, how do I... Oh, so annoying, this layout. It's like a big circle. What about these guys? the witcher's side? He's on very good terms with that damned elf. Maybe he has good in They say someone cast a spell. <laughs> the there goes, goes the PC. That's good for you. Is it? This guy? I've been looking for you. Oh, this guy. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. Speaker, I'll cut your arm off. I don't want to hurt you, I really don't. But I'll cut your arm off if I have to. No, no, please. So tell me what you saw. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth! What else did you hear? Tell me! Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was, beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. So it wasn't him, because he's an idiot. Greetings. Who the hell's a priest house? Oh, I swear to God. Ah! Greetings. What about those guys? Do they know anything? No? Guess not. Zip. These little dudes. Huh? No. Nothing from the little dudes. Who will the Witcher sign? Who? Find out next week on The Witcher. See, she was dead. You're stupid. What? She just <laughs> fell unconscious. Whoa. Does this guy live with Cecil? Is that the thing? They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? Where did Reverend Oak Olken live? I need to know where Reverend Olken used to live. 
Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. Hmm. Oops. See you. Oh, I thought he lived with C Cecil or Cecil. Where is it? I don't wanna. It's like just past the gate there. I think this is the way it crosses. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. The hell is down here? Oh, uh, I have no idea. I don't know, but I'm taking it all. Where am I? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was actually pretty good. Where the hell did this guy live? Don't try anything. Maybe it was Stannis and uh, Reverend Olkin. He's dead now, but strange aura. Whoa. Nothing interesting. Hmm. He had money laying around. Olkin's notes. Is there anything else? No, nope, I got Olkin's notes. I'm gonna read those. Whoa! Whoa, that's the cup! That was the cup! It's totally this guy that did it, but did... Did, uh, Stannis help him? Or commission it, or anything? Take care. Um, now I need to talk to Stannis. Uh... Can I not? I guess I can't talk to you, uh, Stannis. Hello. 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 So it's really haunted now. It is. They should make it a. I like those trolls from uh, the last episodes. If you were watching, those trolls were pretty damn funny. Give us a kiss. Damn. You have seen everyone. Face is busy like never before. Pale face. Eyes like embers. It raises hand and Okay. We might be able to talk Who to Who the witches? It's good to see someone's uh -oh. taken. What's Enough of this charade. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why. The mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. 
I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat! A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior! Perhaps it is no peasant's deed, however, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lice-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stannis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stannis' leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stannis to join the conspiracy. Is Stannis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stannis' time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. Oh man, it's... It really does seem like Stennis did it. Oh, he did allow it. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness. This is dangerous. I'm not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she the Virgin of Eden can judge me. Can he? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. Oh, we should let it be decided. I'm gonna go. The prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? Oh, I don't know, man. This feels like it's gonna come back and bite me. Huh. 
How am I gonna get the his peasants blood? Peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure, and royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Scoia'tael units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. Man, this is gonna be wild.